Hello everybody, in my previous video I showed you how to debug your node application uh, but sometimes uh, it's very convenient and, and especially if your application becomes bigger uh, you want to add um, testing and you don't want to test it by hand you want to make this testing automatically and a great tool that I know uh, and is very popular is called Jest Okay, so if you look here, Jest is a tool uh, by uh, Facebook, okay, which is uh, for testing. Okay, so I will not uh, teach here Jest. I will add a test and then I will show you how to debug also uh, your testing. Okay, so to use Jest, I will install it. So npm install um, just minus d minus d. Uh, it will it will be on the development uh, part, not on production, because we want to test it only on development. Oh, just a minute, I will stop it because I need to create a package.json. So npm init minus y. Okay, and now I will install it. While it is installing, I will tell you that um, when you're writing test, test is commonly name of the of the file, but then it must be dot test dot js. So if I want to test mass dot js, I will prepare, I will add directory test. And here I will add my test. So I will add a, fi uh, a file mass dot test dot js. I don't have uh, it. I, I can use here anything I want, but here I must have test. And what I'm doing here, I'm writing a test, and I'm adding the name of the test. Uh, sum is okay and here I'm adding um, expect let's do here expect so you will understand it expect one to be one I'm not teaching here uh, just I suggest that you will look at it i'm just writing here a um, very small test this is going to be failed because one is not equal to two but meanwhile it is um, you see that it is uh, installed and now i will put here just okay so i have a test and the test will fail because one is not two and to run the test, I need to do npm test. And this will go over all the file and look for file with dot test and will invoke the test. And it will fail because one is not equal to two. Okay, so you see expected two, but got uh, one. And now I will choose, I will work with the. Um, Okay, I will make a small test here. And let's do a mass. Let's put one and two and see that it is three. Okay, so now it should work. Oh, I forgot to add some. So first you see that uh, it is not working because I forgot to add the sum. So I need to add sum. And now it should work. Okay, 
what is happening cannot find oh because it is two level above here okay so now let's see that it is working okay well, see, so this is the test the test pass and now if i will accidentally add something here the test the test will fail because one and two plus one is four so this test will fail so this is why uh just is so so great okay it's failing spec three and got four i want to show you um that i'm also using it i'm working now on a project and uh, this is the project and there are a lot of files okay and you can see here how many tests i have i have a lot of tests and i can invoke them okay i can invoke them here and you will see how many tests i'm running So every every file here is a test file. You see dot test dot test. Okay, so I have some. <laughs> failing test here but and i need to fix it but you see that uh, i have more than 80 tests okay so let's stop it and now if i want to uh, find the problem i need to debug it so how do i debug it okay so let's let's get back to our project close this and okay so what we need to do like we need to add to our config file to our uh, launch.json a configuration for uh, for running the test so i need to run the test from my configuration but what to add okay so i will look at the internet uh, just uh, debug VS Code, okay, and you can see here that I have here debugging in VS Code, and um, because I'm using Windows, I will choose, I will choose um, this one, okay. If you look here, I have here configuration, and this is the array. I just need here comma. And I need to copy this. Okay. Let's edit here. And if you look here, you see that this is the name. Uh, let's add here um, just test. And um, the both are launched, and this is parameters. I'm not getting into it. But. Uh, now when i'm doing f5 you see that i can choose just test okay so this was was before and now if i want to add a breakpoint in my test inside um here i want to put a breakpoint and I want to run it. So
So I'm getting the breakpoint from uh, the sum. And now I'm getting back into my test. So I'm able um, to use the breakpoint from here. Okay. But from for some reason, let's run it again. Okay, now the breakpoint is, I'm getting the breakpoint here. It stopped here, and now I can step into, and I can debug it here, and fix the problem, because as you saw before, the test failed, and I can see now that this is the problem, <laughs> so I can fix it. okay and now it is okay so the the secret was to add a configuration file on top of uh, the configuration file for debugging index.js okay so if i want to debug index.js and not uh, i don't want to debug the, the jest i simply go here launch program and run it so i have very convenient configuration I can debug my application or I can debug my Jest uh, suite and it is working very well. Thank you.